Florida has many interesting sights to see, such as its alligators and the tourism scene. It's also the place where rapper Tramar Lassell Diller got his musical name from. And while they might be terrifying at times, we've compiled a list of the most notable animals that call Florida home. Sure, you might think they're all horrifying, like gators and snakes, but some of them are quite strange. These are mysterious creatures found in Florida. Number 5. The Many Haunting of Captain Tony Saloon So, we don't exactly have footage for this one or photos for that matter, but we think it's really worth discussing. Why Captain Tony Saloon in Florida is surrounded by stories. It seems like almost everybody who has ever been there has a story to spin about encountering a ghost, ghoul, or cryptid deep within the saloon's depths. Even though we've got no accompanying footage, one simply cannot make a video about strange events going down in Florida without at least briefly touching on the strange legacy of this place. Captain Tony Saloon is one of the more eventful and disturbing histories of any of America's most haunted bars. The building was once a morgue that morgue was destroyed when a hurricane struck the Keys, washing many bodies awaiting burial into the ocean. And that's only the beginning of the horrors that are said to have gone down in this place. There is also evidence that during the building's construction, a tree was cut down that had been used for hangings, including the lynching of a woman accused of killing her husband and children. Yikes! Many of the hauntings in Captain Tony Saloon Center around disturbingly enough, the ladies' restroom. Many women using the restroom have found themselves locked inside the stalls or heard the outer door slam when using the facilities. One staff member has even reported hearing a voice whisper, don't leave in the restroom. No one knows what spirit is causing these bizarre occurrences, but any who encountered it hope they never meet it again. What do you think? Are these stories genuine? Is there something legitimately disturbing about Captain Tony Saloon? Are strange creatures truly within its walls? Or is it all nothing but myth and legend? Number 4. Woodland Creature. From the waters to the woods. This next clip comes from one of the more tree-heavy regions of Florida and was first uploaded to YouTube back when the world ended in 2012. The original uploader claims that the night before he captured this footage, he had set up a ritual prop circle while making his own homemade horror film in the woods of Florida. He says that nothing appeared to be out of the ordinary and after several rehearsals, the casting crew left for the day. But then things got freaky. How freaky? Freakier than the infamously Freaky Friday, that's how freaky. However, when Jones returned the following day, this dark figure was standing right where he had left the ritual circle while the figure does appear to remain stationary throughout the clip. Some viewers have claimed that if you look at the footage very closely, you can actually see it move, haunting stuff. The figure appears to be staring right at the camera, which is absolutely horrifying. It has this incredibly unnerving sort of unending gaze that truly unsettles us. Oddly, whatever this thing is, it seems to be wearing a truck horn hat. For all of you unfamiliar with hat wear history, a truck horn is a style that was popular during the 18th century, especially among the Spanish and French armies, while the eerie shape certainly does look like a human. Several skeptics have noted that it might simply be an optical illusion created by a broken tree stump. Even the uploader himself mentions that when he returned to the spot, sometime later, the creature vanished, but saw a little point in recording the surrounding trees. Lots of people have been trying to figure out what this thing is and everyone's opinions differ. Is it just a man? Is it a man-shaped monster? Is it perhaps the legendary shadow person? The hat man? Is it maybe nothing but an optical illusion? Could it be an elaborate fake put together by the original uploader? What do you think? Be sure to let us know. Number 3. Water Monster Bob Bullinger, runner up in the best surname ever competition, posted this rather intriguing slice of footage to his YouTube channel back in 2017. It was according to claim shot at Harney in Florida. Starting out as a reasonably innocuous clip, a peculiar animal can soon be spotted swimming under the water. But what I ask you is it? The video begins as the camera holder zooms in on something splashing around in the lake. It soon becomes apparent that whatever is causing the commotion must be large. How large? Very. That's how large. At one point part of the creature even appears to briefly emerge from the lake. It looks as though it could be a fin or even the back of the beast as it thrashes about in the water. Some people have guessed it as a monster. Others have guessed it's a dinosaur. Some have postulated that it's a fake of some kind. Some people haven't gotten involved at all. They've been too busy since the footage first surfaced. Many viewers have analyzed it in an attempt to identify the creature. Why? Boredom, I should imagine. 
The general consensus seems to be that the beast appears to be similar to the Loch Ness Monster of Scotland. But as many people have pointed out, Scotland and Florida are different places, so that's intriguing. Some people have noted that the lake where the footage was captured is well known for its alligators, some of which have grown to more than 12 feet in length. Could it be possible, then, that this YouTuber has captured a large gator on camera thrashing around in the lake? While it certainly could be the case, it has been noted that the beast in the video appears to move more like a large snake or serpent, while the mystery of the Lake Harney monster continues to baffle experts. Many residents believe that the lake could indeed be home to some sort of large, unidentified creature. What do you think? Be sure to let us know. Now it's time for the rare topic. Let's put all the cards on the table. There is a debate here, among those of us who work at this channel as to whether this image is real. Most of us think it is fake, but it is so awesome. We simply had to include it anyway. This photo has been online for a while and seems to show a weird blend between a gecko and an orange peel. We've known about this photo for a while, but have always decided not to discuss it because of our personal opinion that it is a Photoshop effort. But a great number of you guys have been asking us to include it in a video, as it seems a lot of you guys think it actually is real. If it is, does it taste of orange? What do you think? As always comment down below with the hashtag rare topic, and we might pin the comment that best explains what is being shown in this image with that said, let's keep things moving. Number 2. Another sea monster. We told you our first clip was not the only possible sea monster spotted in Florida. This upcoming clip, the same monster, seen a different time or an entirely separate beast. We'll tell you everything there is to know, and then you can decide. Off the southwestern coast of Florida, Santa Bell Island is a beautiful locale with as much history as there is natural beauty to be found. In modern nuisance, the 1830s occupation by Calusa Indians states back to as much as 2,400 years earlier. Today, 5,200 acres of the island belong to the Jay and Darling National Wildlife Refuge, where everything from sea life to bobcats and coastal birds continue to thrive. But perhaps the wildlife described above is not all that continue to thrive around the island. In October 2013, a couple in Florida claimed they managed to film a monster while boating off the coast of Santa Bella Island and those startled by the strange and very large creature. They managed to capture some rather exciting footage of it, whatever it may have been. The footage, when originally posted, came with some rather intriguing commentary. This is what they wrote. Excuse the language we use in this clip, we were scared. It's either a massive anaconda or a sea monster. Whatever came out of the water scared the life out of my fiance and I. We were fishing on our boat in the shallow bay area of Santa Bell Island, Florida on October 6, 2013, when we saw what looked like a bus speeding through the water. At first, we thought we were watching manatee swimming, which we see all the time, but this animal was moving very fast and looked to be attacking something. All of a sudden part of its body sprung out of the water and appeared to have something wrapped up. Then it was gone. We honestly don't know what it was, but its head resembled a sea otter and its body looked like a giant 20-plus foot snake. If a cement utility pole was laying down horizontally, that would bend the width and length of this sea creature. The description they give is indeed rather tantalizing. Perhaps one of the more striking elements. In addition to the large creature observed here is the woman's reaction at 30 seconds into the clip. Just as the money shot occurs and the thing, whatever it is rolls out of the water for a moment. It seems that she is exhibiting real fear as this animal moves close to their boat and that when they wrote excuse the language in that we were scared, they obviously meant it. What was this creature again? If the description they gave was accurate, it tells us several things about the animal that we weren't able to discern from the video alone such as the serpent-like appearance and the face that resembled that of a sea otter. For those with interest in reports of gigantic sea serpents, this creature certainly does bear resemblance to the kinds of serpentine creatures often reported in our oceans. In an interesting side, for lovers of other varieties of monsters, fans of George A. Romero's 1985 film Day of the Dead, will be interested to know that parts of the movie were actually shot on location nearby in the city of Santa Bell, where Romero had a home at the time. Is it possible that there is a mystery beast lurking in the waters off the coast of Florida? 
while some feel that it is impossible for large animals like Bigfoot to existing parts of America, despite a rich history of purported interactions and even kidnappings involving the beast. Marine biologists have noted that more than 750,000 different marine species may exist in our oceans, and furthermore, that a minority of these though, still a significant number could be large animals. Number one, the monster the hiker found. You may be wondering what inspired this video. Well, I saw the upcoming clip in which a hiker stumbles upon what might be a dinosaur in Florida, and it was so blown away, I knew I had to make a whole video about curious sightings in Florida. Here we go. It's not always paranormal investigators and cryptozoologists, both professional and amateur, who capture the most intriguing glimpses into the world of myth and monsters. Sometimes perfectly ordinary folk accidentally bumble their way into remarkable discoveries. Take for example, this clip that we found it uploaded to the YouTube channel, Real Paranormal Videos, who, as you can guess from the name, specialize in this sort of thing. They are not the original owners of this footage. They stumbled upon it. It was originally filmed by a hiker of all people, somewhere in Florida. As a hiker makes their way through the wilderness, their attention is drawn toward a small cave up ahead. Is he possibly considering venturing into the cave? Who knows what he's thinking? What we do know though, is that he probably has no interest going into the cave after what happens next. Suddenly, surprisingly, a peculiar creature runs by it is visible for only the briefest of moments. But it's in slowing down the footage that we start to get a better idea of what it might be. Now, you take a look. It runs on two legs. It has a large head, yet short arms. When it initially bolts, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was a monster. But in slow-mo, suddenly the reality of what it might be becomes all the clearer. Doesn't it look like a velociraptor? The question is, is it one? It is now known that actual velociraptors were recovered in feathers and were only about the size of a turkey while the footage is not clear enough to see the creature's skin in detail. It does appear to be much larger than a turkey. With that in mind, it's unlikely to be a velociraptor. But could it be a different dinosaur altogether? I mean, how much do we really know about dinosaurs? We can't all be Ross Geller. Without more information, it's difficult to speculate further. Many believe that some smaller, faster dinosaurs may have survived undiscovered in the wild. However, as humans expand their living environment, this seems increasingly unlikely. What do you think is this authentic footage of a real dinosaur or could it simply be a clever editing job? We would love to hear your thoughts. Please do let us know in the comment section below. See you next time.